Hey everybody, Jeff Collins here from Idea Alliance, and today we're going to show you how to update your Adobe Creative Suite applications, the color settings specifically, so that they're synced through InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop, and even Adobe Acrobat Professional. Typically, when you install Adobe Creative Suite, let's say we just purchased it from the cloud, and we open it up and we go to our color settings, you'll see the defaults are based on older, archaic specifications and standards or profiles. This is a big problem in the print industry because people are using those defaults and converting RGB and CMYK images through those color settings. And essentially you're dumbing down your color, all right? You're clipping color that you can reproduce on a press that is printing to Grackle 2013 or Grackle 2006 or any of the ISO 15339 data sets. And if you're not familiar with those, those are seven data sets that represent a variety of print conditions. And these print conditions are gray balance print conditions using the G7 gray balance aims or neutral print density aims. So again, like in photography, or if I'm looking at a calibrated monitor, gray balance is extremely important. So we're maintaining gray balance throughout the supply chain. We're gonna add those settings into Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, InDesign, and Acrobat with a very quick and easy method using the .csf file from Adobe. That's a color settings file. We'll simply download that from idealliance.org, import it in through Adobe Bridge, sync everything, and then you can apply this on each one of your workstations. Let's say you're a graphic design firm, and we have several designers, they're all using Adobe Creative Suite, and we wanna make sure that they're all playing from the same sheet of music. The same thing would apply to pre-press or pre-media. If you have a pre-press department and pre-media department that are handling the raw Adobe files. Maybe they're doing color retouch. Maybe they're making PDFX files uh, to submit to the print workflow. We want to make sure that they're synced. Everybody's on the same sheet of music and you'll find that your color consistency and your image reproduction will be more accurate across the board no matter what printing solution you have on your plant floor and it will also speed up and make it much more efficient less waste when we're doing color retouch or proofing things like that all right so let me jump into the computer and we'll go ahead and get started okay guys to get started we'll go ahead and Go to the Idea Alliance website, idealliance.org, to download the adobe.csf file that we'll use to sync our Adobe Creative Suite applications and update them to Grackle 2013. And these are current standards and specifications used in print manufacturing. And they are also called ISO 15339 data sets. Grackle 2013 is just one of those data sets. There's seven all together, and they're all based off a gray balance condition, G7 gray balance to be specific. And that's what we're going to show you how to do today to get off of those old settings that are archaic. They've been in use for the last 10 years, and Adobe has not updated those color settings quite some time. And honestly, it is a huge problem in the print industry because most people don't know to change those settings and they're converting their files using old profiles for CMYK and RGB. So let's start to use the best practices. So here we are at idealliance.org. Simply go to resources and then you have downloads. And then click downloads and you have member downloads and public downloads so these are publicly available we'll go there and you can see in the public resource library we have print resources folder here double click on that and then the folder contents you can see we have grackle 2013 adobe color settings files double click on that and then you go to download click download All right, 
just decompress that and I'll drag the folder over here and I'll show you the contents. So we have several files in here. Some of them are informative. The Adobe CFS.xls or Excel file, if you open that up, it will give you a descriptive definition of each one of the ISO 15339 data sets. You can see here, you can see here we have cold set news, Grackle 2013, Grackle uncoded, swap, etc. As well, we have a color settings readme. This is essentially the instructions to load the .cfs file and it will tell you the correct path to use to get to the uh, Adobe Color Settings folder, Mac OS, as well as Windows. Now this is a bit outdated. I'm running a new version of the Mac OS Mojave and it is 10.14 and it could be the same case for Windows but at least you have a good start as where to find these folders to place the file so I'll go ahead and show you that here on my Mac. I'll open up a new folder window and then we'll just navigate to the hard drive, the Mac hard drive here and then you want to go to your library folder, open that up and then you have application support and in here you can see there are several folders. Go to the Adobe folder and then in the Adobe folder we have the color folder and then this is where we'll drop our file specifically into the settings folder. You may have to authenticate. And there we have it. I could also put these .cfs files for the other ISO 15339 print conditions. I can just simply drag the whole bunch right in there. Ay ay ay. And that's it. I could also put the uncoded. I use that quite some quite often come on uh, all right that was a little painful but we got there so now that we have the files into the correct folder on my Mac close that down and then we will launch bridge and in bridge you want to go to your color settings and now you can see we have Grackle 2013 present. Hit apply and that will sync all of your Adobe Creative Suite applications. So let's just open up Photoshop quickly to see if it took. There we go. And of course, we have the other data sets that we've loaded as well. So in here, we can see that we have specific policies. All of this information um, that you see selected, all these parameters in this color settings window is populated and set just with that .csf file. Now, if I did not have Adobe Bridge, I could also load this manually in each application by simply going load, going to load, and then navigating to where that uh, CFS file is located. And then there we go. That's cold set news, but you get the picture. We can do it manually if we don't have bridge, but bridge is the easiest way. Does it in a fail swoop, sets all the uh, applications so they're all playing from the same sheet of music for color as well if you have multiple workstations in a pre-press department or a graphic design firm we have a very simple and easy tool to set everything to the same sheet of music and update to our current standards from the older standards that Adobe uh, installs as a default. Well, that's a wrap for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. We hope you found it useful and we appreciate your time. Please connect to us at idalliance.org where you can find content like this video. And we hope you have a wonderful and productive day. Take care.